What is happening guys, Archizel here and welcome to another video Archies, I hope you guys are having a great great day. My name is Sergeant Massey, Archizel on the internet. I have been in the army for about seven years. My actual job is an army medic. So if you wanna see more of my videos in social media, links will be somewhere in the screen or down below. So check it out. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five, the top five best enlisted medical jobs in the army in no particular order. Again, this is just Archizel's blog. Blog, did I say blog? It's actually a vlog, a video log. It's just from my own experience, my own POV, because I have worked with these MOSs as a six day whiskey, an army medic. I've seen them work. I've kind of had interactions with them from different units. And I just want to share you some of the jobs that I think are the top five, the best enlisted medical jobs in no particular order. This is just mine, no one else's. Also, I'll be linking you to a website called Army Cool. The links are gonna be down below, so check it out. I'm gonna be getting all of the information from that website as well. It's basically a website that shows every enlisted medical jobs in the Army, pretty much every enlisted jobs in the army and it will show you what it is translated to in the civilian side what certifications you will get a good example 60 whiskey army medic emt basic it shows what certifications i will get if i go through the training paid by the army from the army and work as a EMT in the army and once I get out I will have these certifications that are translated to the civilian side so without further ado let's go to top one in no particular order okay number one it's MOS 68C or 68 Charlie practical nursing specialist and this MOS is described as the practical nursing specialist supervises or performs preventive therapeutic and emergency nursing care procedures under the supervision of a physician nurse or non-commissioned officer soldiers in this MOS are credentialed as licensed practical nurse. For more information, check out the links on the website. I'll keep showing you guys some screenshots about this. So from my own experience, I have worked with 68 Charlies. They are nurses. They take the NCLEX and they have a lot of certifications that the army will pay and let them go through training. This is just a ballpark here. I don't exactly know how long the schooling is or the training for this, but it's a little over a year to almost a year followed by an on-the-job training to a medical facility and then they go to their first unit. I have worked with a lot of 6 Day Charlies when I was in a combat support hospital. I didn't really work with 6 Day Charlies when I was in the clinic but we did have one, a licensed practitioner nurse, a civilian one and she basically supervised and helped out all the 6 Day Whiskeys that are regular army medics like us. So if you're interested with that go ahead and check the links down below. Check out that website and let me know what you think. Also I am pretty sure that a lot of you guys will be surprised because you wouldn't expect that the army has these and the jobs that are medical okay so moving on to the list will be 68t 68 tango animal care specialist supervises or provides the care management treatment and sanitary conditions for animals with a primary responsibility of prevention and control of diseases transmitted from animal to man in comprehensive care for government owned animals all right based from my experience i have seen six to eight tangos again when i was in a combat support hospital in a regular base in a regular post i have come across them whenever i went to the veterinary i have two dogs remember drake and nikki did i say two dogs i have two dogs drake and nikki so whenever it's time for them to get their shots when it's time for them to go to the doctor you know for a checkup if something's wrong with them i see them all the time so i can basically i guess imagine or translate this like whenever you go to Banfield or whenever you go to your local veterinary or whatever it is it's those people that take care of animals take care of vitals and all that stuff and then present all the information and medical history that they got from your animal to the actual veterinarian and then the veterinarian goes out and checks your dog so that's basically that also as a six-day whiskey army medic I had the opportunity to kind of help the six day tangos, the animal care specialist, in a immunization drive. So they taught me the basic stuff on how to check the vitals of animals and basically gave them the proper immunizations that they are due for. It was pretty fun. I love animals, I love dogs, I have my own dogs. So it's pretty amazing. So if you're interested about taking care of animals, not just humans, but be in the medical field while in the army, that's a good MOS for you. 68 Tango Animal Care Specialist. Moving on to the next MOS. This will be a 68 Alpha Biomedical Equipment Specialist. Medical equipment repair performs maintenance services and repairs on all medical equipment, medical systems, medically related equipment, and medically related systems. Pretty much a legit MOS. Right off the bat again, from my own experience, I know the schooling for this is almost a year, followed by, I believe, it's an on-the-job training to get your certifications. These people earn a lot of money, and there's not a lot of them. So a good idea on what they do is, 
whenever you go to a hospital or a clinic, I'm pretty sure you've seen this. EKG machines, x-ray machines, even to the simplest vital signs machine. These six day alphas biomedical equipment repair and maintainer are the ones who calibrate, fix these equipment. Pretty much every equipment you see in the hospital. So they do get paid a lot. It's a really civilian type of job. Again, describing it from my own experience because they're pretty much in the hospital all the time. They deal with a lot of hardware stuff, equipment. It's one of those MOSs that are medical, still in the army, but it's not really direct towards seeing patients all the time. But again, more on equipment to help diagnose patients. So if you're interested with that one, check out the links down below also for that website. Moving on in the list is the 6A Foxtrot Physical Therapy Specialist. The physical therapy specialist under the direction of a physical therapist and following medical referral supervises or administers physical therapy to decrease physical disabilities and promotes physical fitness of patients. For my own POV, I haven't really worked with a lot of 6 to 8 Foxtrots, but it was one of those MOSs that I wanted to get when I was still trying to get in when I was brand new to the army. I also thought about reclassing to this MOS. It's a pretty legit job. A good example, I guess from my experience again, is whenever someone got hurt from training, they need to be better, you have their strength again, the regular gait pattern or full range of motion of their extremities. They go to the physical therapist to strengthen those muscles and be functional again and eventually be deployable. So they deal with a lot of exercises. They have a pretty cool clinic or office whenever I see them in the hospital or in our TMC. And it's again, it's one of those MOSs that's so civilianized in my opinion, but they are still part of the army and they still do army stuff. But it's a great way. If you wanna be a physical therapist at the end, in the long run, it's a great route to start off with. Also, all of these MOSs, regardless if you are a six day series medical soldier or not a six day series medical soldier MOS you can turn in a packet you know get information from your unit doesn't matter if your reserves are active get information from them so you can transfer from one MOS to another I know a lot of people that were 11 Bravos infantry guys that turned in applications and packets that switched to army medics and then eventually again turn in another packet to go to school for nursing or to be a physician's assistant so there are ways to do that. But for the last MOS, I'm gonna be a little bit biased on this one. It will be six day whiskey, healthcare specialist, army combat medic. The combat medic specialist provides emergency medical treatment, limited primary care, force health protection, evacuation in a variety of operational and clinical settings from the point of injury or illness, through the continuum of military healthcare and as a field combat medic. They also provide emergency medical care treatment at point of wounding on the battlefield or to battle and non-battle casualties during wartime. For more information, check out the website again. So from my own experience, this is my MOS. There has been an opportunity where I was in the line. I was in my FLA, basically an ambulance. You're EMT, you're on standby. So if someone gets hurt during training or there's also time when we do sick call, it's basically in the morning. It's, it's regular routine if you have sore throat, if you feel like you're sick, if your temperature is really high. You go to us, we screen you, and then we advise you based from our training as an EMT if you need to get seen make an appointment give you medications if your PA allows you to and many more if you work in a hospital there's gonna be a chance where you will work in an ER in an emergency room or ICU also it's a pretty great MOS to start off if you're brand new to the medical field and you want to eventually branch out into something else again like as a doctor as a surgeon as a nurse and many more it's a good stepping stone just to get your foot in the door again don't forget all of these jobs are in the army and if you're interested Interested, let me know my question to you guys are if you are in the army or if you don't know what information or what jobs we have let me know what is your dream job or ask away like is there a certain job that's like this in the army and I will try to get back to you or someone that's watching this you know fill me in in the comment section so we can spread the knowledge so people know that there's more different jobs in the military specifically in the army because that's the topic okay if you are in the army or if you want to be in the army what is the MOS or military occupational specialty or career that you wanna do once you get in or what were you when you were in? Leave a comment below, let's start our conversation. Again, thank you for the support. Smash that like button to help the channel grow and support your boy, Art Chisel. I will see you in the next video, Art Chisel out.